it's Dennis. Nice to see you guys again. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm here to share with you my life in Australia. Alright, today I'm going to share with you my experience studying in Australia. I'm just here to share my experience and uh, something that I think is important. So let's get started. Cheers. So I was starting a um, commercial cookery at a private college. You can watch my video a day as a chef to know my working life up here. Yeah, I think. It's a long story why I ended up studying cookery. If you guys want to know why, you can leave a comment below. I will tell you the reason. So the main reason I chose to start in Australia is because I want to immigrate to here. So starting in Australia is one of many places that you can immigrate to Australia. But it's definitely not easy and it takes a long time to achieve. So if your reasons to start in Australia are the same as mine, you can go to the Australia's Immigrants website. There is a list of what kind of skills they need in Australia. But you have to remember that the list changed every year and same as the immigration policy. Change all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to know what's your purpose for studying in Australia, and make sure you pick the right subject. It's very important, um, not just for immigration purposes. You have to like it as well. Otherwise, it's going to be like really, really hard for you to start in something you don't like it at all. Uh, private schools or um, public schools? So we are talking about vocational courses in Australia. You must know TAFE Institute, which are Australia government owned. This is Australia government owned schools. There's no problem for people to recognize your degrees. And you can have uh, like good quality of education. However, it's more expensive and more strict to students compared with the private college. Or you can choose the private colleges just like I did. But the quality of private colleges is various. There are good one and the bad one. It's all depending on what you are looking for. The tuition fee is much cheaper compared with TAFE. However, the private college may not be known by everyone. So, for example, if you started in Perth um, and then you moved to Sydney after graduating, people over there might not know your school if you study in a private college. Well, personally, I don't think it's a big problem. Uh, as long as you can show your skills and the cap capabilities, <laughs> I'm sure you can find a job. God damn it! So hard to pronounce this word. Cap capabilities. What internship? Doing an internship is part of the courses. So, which means you have to, you must to. Um, complete a certain amount of hours for your internship to get your certificate. So in my own experience, school will ask you a couple of questions before he puts you 
to a workplace. Something like I, what type of cuisine you like? What type of restaurants do you wanna work with? Something like that. It's where you learn what the real work is like. And it's also really good opportunities for you to get a job right away or in the future. So do your best on your internship. Be proactive and don't be afraid to ask what you want. Just tell the chef or whatever internship you are doing. Tell your boss, your senior, what you really want to learn from your internship. One more like super, super crazy important thing. It's English. If you want to, if you want to enroll a vocational school, you have to pass the IELTS 5.5. And after you finish your studying, and you can apply for graduate visa, um, you have to pass the IELTS 6. You don't want to be in a situation where you don't understand what your teachers are talking about or when your classmates are laughing and you have no clue because you couldn't understand them. Since you are going to study in an English speaking country, well, do your best, like your best. Do whatever you can to improve your English before you came here so you can have better opportunities and make more friends here. Well, I feel like because of the coronavirus, we are all asked to stay at home. And I feel like I have been staying at home for so long. So I think we should go outside. Let's go. I got a balcony. Let's film it as a balcony. really nice weather <sighs> nice sunny day so good isn't it being an international student was my dream when I was young so I was kind of made my dream come true even though it's not in a way what I was expecting if you are planning to study in Australia, think carefully about what you want to study and, uh, and what your purpose is for studying here. So if you, like me, just come from an average family and you have to support yourself. Oh, the sun is coming up. That's really good. Wait, it's too bright. All right. Yeah. So if you are like me, come from an average family, and you have to support yourself, it's going to be a really hard. As Australia is an very it's an expensive country, and the tuition fee for international student is unbelievably pricey. But again, if you know exactly what you want and you have a strong determination, then just do it. You can do it. Like, make it happen. And stay at home, stay safe, wash your hands frequently, and hopefully everything will be okay soon. Thank you for watching my channel. I love you guys all. I'll see you guys soon. Bye! -bye.